I'm sure most of you have seen, if not heard, of How I Met Your Mother. Of this group, the readers probably have also seen the related books. So today's topic, should you buy the How I Met Your Mother books? So, in this video we'll look at the two books I own. The first is the Bro Code and the second is the Playbook. It goes without saying that I brought these more for the novelty rather than the deep and insightful knowledge they contain. So, on to the books, starting with the Bro Code. The Bro Code comes in at 195 pages and is comparable thickness to the Android Dream Electric Sheep at 1.5cm. So if nothing else it looks good and it can help bulk out your bookshelf. It has a more mature look than the stacks of comics you will inevitably have crammed into one end of your bookshelf. But onto the actual contents. There are 150 rules, each given their own page. Most rules consist of a single succinct line, a clear and concise rule by which to govern your life. These rules cover a wide range, from the classic Article 1, Bros Before Hose, to the more contemporary Article 82. If two bros get in a heated argument over something and one says something out of line, the other shall not expect him to take it back or apologise to make amends. That's inhuman. It is an entertaining evening's read, but not much more. I read it about a month ago, since which it stayed untouched on my bookshelf, as it presumably will until I move house or die. So if you're looking for a fun read or to add some character to your bookshelf, this is a must have. Well, how about the playbook? The playbook, despite having more substantive content, is the thinner of the two, coming in at 139 pages and about 1.2 centimetres. It also looks good in your bookshelf, but while no one will complain about the bro code, if your girlfriend suddenly sees a book called The Playbook appear, you may get a rather judgmental look if not a talking to. You get about two paragraphs of average sized text per page. So it will take you much longer to read than the bro code but can still be easily completed within a day. It offers much more utility with some very workable plays and some less workable ones. Mixed in are plays you will have seen in the series that will bring a smile to your face when you recall them. So an example of each. Let's start with a workable play. The One Week to Live. Success rate 50%. Attracts natural nurses. Requirements a hearty cough. Prep time none. Bummers, begging the universe to kick you in the nards. The play. 1. Set up camp in a public place and start coughing like crazy. Really get a good wheeze going, like you're trying to breathe through a washcloth or doing an impression of John Goodman trying to tie his shoes. 2. Keep coughing until a viable target approaches and asks what's wrong. 3. Fight back tears and tell her it's nothing, but then break down and admit you've only got one week to live. Four. Now tell her the worst part is leaving Earth before you ever shared the intimate company of a woman. Say this with puppy dog eyes and you should be good to go. Now an unworkable play. The Project X. Success rate. 22 to 83% depending on the cuteness of the monkey. Attracts animal lovers. Requirements. One chimpanzee, one chimpanzee leash. Prep time. Varies due to monkey availability. Bummers. Play does not entail. Dressing chimp in tuxedo. Dressing chimp in baseball uniform. Dressing chimp in tweed cape and deerstalker cap. And having him smoke a pipe like his Sherlock Holmes. The play. 1. Get a monkey. 2. Take your monkey to a local bar. 3. Position yourself and your monkey near the target. 4. When she asks about the monkey, explain you broke him out of an animal testing facility. If she presses, just shake your head and mutter, cosmetics. 5. Complain that you can't go home because they will be looking for you. She'll take the hint and invite you back to her place. If she hesitates, lie and assure her that the monkey is housebroken. 6. Slip the monkey some Benadryl so he won't be a distraction while you're getting it on with the target. And a final example of a play you would have seen in the series. The he's not coming. Success rate 0.5%. Attracts romantics, very recently scorned lovers. Requirements Empire State Building. A dashing, carry grantesque mid Atlantic accent. Recommended but not required. Prep time travel to New York. 
Bummers, numbers game. Can be time consuming. Gets chilly on top of the Empire State Building. The play. One, travel to New York and go to the observation deck of the Empire State Building. Two, walk up to every girl you see and solemnly say, he's not coming. Three, repeat step two until the girl breaks down on your shoulder. Four, Kablamo. Why does this work? For generations, the observation deck of the Empire State Building has been the place for romantic reunions with long estranged lovers. Provided one of these estranged lovers is running a few minutes late, scoring here can be easy pickings. Personally, I don't think I'd recommend this just because the bro code offers more. Of course, if you enjoy the bro code and you have £5 to lose, you can buy this too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short review of the bro code in the playbook. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. If you disagree, leave a comment. Either way, this is the end, so I'll see you next time.